Ah yes, the Apple Watch SE. Been released for over six months now, and after my ownership listed device, this is gonna be the six month follow up review. Now, I have to admit, admittedly, I do not use the SE as my day to day device, but all of my best friends do. And honestly, if it wasn't for this YouTube channel, I would have been rocking the SE myself as my day to day driver. But the past week, I did switch back to my SE just to get the feel and see if I would actually miss something that the SE doesn't have that the Series 6 does have to offer. And honestly, through my experience, there was none of that because I still think in today's day and age with the latest generation iPhones, the SE is the most ideal smartwatch for most iPhone users. And this is why. The reason why you should buy it, it's super quick as it is using the previous generation chipset, the S5, which was found in the Series 5 Apple Watch. The unique body redesign from the Series 4 still continues on to this. In other words, accessories from the Series 4, 5, 6 are fully compatible, so you're not missing out on anything. It still has an amazing OLED display, which looks fantastic. No matter the lighting situation, it could be indoors or outdoors, the screen is 100% visible. It is still loaded with a bunch of great fitness features, like the ability to monitor your heart rate, track calories, auto workout detection, built-in GPS to track your outdoor runs. It's water resistant up to 50 meters, which means you can swim with it and track your laps. It's just an overall awesome fitness tracker much better than what a Fitbit and other fitness devices can offer. Now, the only con though, I did mention that there wasn't a feature that I really miss, but during certain time of the day, if I'm out with a friend, I did miss the ability to have the always on display switch to a nice luxury watch face instead of just having a black screen. Now, this is more or less just an aesthetic complaint because originally Apple watches did not have an always on display, but this was one of the only features that I actually missed the most after using the SE for a whole week that only the series five and the six has to offer. And then of course there's no built-in ECG, nor does it support the blood oxygen detection. But honestly, this stuff is really just a gimmick unless you're just a fitness freak with your numbers because there's really no need for me to use it nor do i see everybody needing to have it especially if you don't have any health complications and such now let's see here it has been over six months now since the apple watch se has been available in the market and if we go right now on amazon you can find it brand new for the small size option for 269 dollars and then the larger 44 is also available but it looks like amazon just has it all sold out so i'm going to go to Best Buy real quick, see how much they have it for. So normally the smaller size version, the 40 millimeter SE Apple Watch sells at roughly around 280 and then the larger 44, 310. But I bet you if you wait a little bit longer, you could find it on sale for a killer deal. Now in terms of battery life, it's able to deliver the same all day battery, which we actually tested in this video over here, where we did a video string test and see which Apple Watch will last the longest. The SE was top three. In other words, it has plenty of battery capacity to make it through the entire day and a few hours later in case you forget to charge it. Now, why should you consider getting an Apple Watch if you never owned one before? Well, there's several reasons. Again, not only can they do all the basic things like answer phone calls, read or send text messages, but Apple evolves the Apple Watch in such a dramatic way that it could do almost the same things that you expect a smartphone to do. As a final example, the SE also has a built-in compass, which is nice. It has Apple Pay, which means you could pay on any terminal by tapping the power button and just tap with your wrist and the transaction is complete. The microphone quality and the speaker when answering phone calls is actually really good. Even outdoors in a very windy environment, the caller was still able to understand me very well and I was able to hear them okay. It still does give me a James Bond type of vibe whenever I speak to it like this. Then it also has built-in Bluetooth, which means Thanks to the recent update from WatchOS 7, you can stream your music from services like Spotify or YouTube Music if you use that from the Apple Watch itself to a connected pair of wireless earbuds. It could be AirPods or third party, it supports it all. And with AirPods, you can actually control the noise modes, the different modes that's available like the transparency mode or the noise cancellation, all off your wrist. And just like your smartphone, it also has built-in Wi-Fi, which you can actually connect to a new Wi-Fi signal off the watch 
really easy. Other cool things that this thing could do besides telling you the time, the weather, is there's other gizmos in here that will allow you to do some very useful things. One of which, the one that I use the most is whenever I lose my phone around the household, I can always just pin it right here on my wrist by bringing up control center. And if I press and long hold the little phone icon with the ringer, it'll toggle my flash so I can find my phone faster. It also has a built-in flashlight, which when you tap it, it'll basically just eliminate the watch display at maximum brightness so you can make your way through a very dark hallway if needed you also have different modes too like strobe and stuff like that in case you're a runner water lock is also a thing airplay mode it also has the ability to sleep track this also includes your heart rate whenever you're sleeping the watch itself will basically monitor everything for you and it also supports the new 20 second timer feature which all it does is whenever you're washing your hands based off the movement and the sound of water the apple watch will identify and know that you're watching your hand and will automatically start a 20 second timer and will give you a heptic tap once you're done and congratulate you as well but then it still doesn't end there very similar to like the premium version apple watches i'll consider the series 6 and the series 5 to be at the premium version of the se you maintain all the watch faces that those apple watches have since it does share the same large body design display which means all the watch faces that are compatible on the series 6 can be all found right here on the SE, including the new ones that Apple plan on rolling out in the near future for the next watchOS firmware update. So the display on this OLED, not only does it look fantastic, but it's extremely bright as well and energy efficient. So really for anybody looking to buy an Apple Watch and doesn't care about the other features like the ECG capabilities or the blood oxygen level, just want a smart watch that tracks like basically everything like fitness related or a watch that you could give to your kid knowing that it doesn't cost as much. The SE would definitely be a watch that I would personally recommend for anybody looking to buy an Apple Watch. But real quick, before you buy the Apple Watch, if you're planning on buying the standard sport Apple Watch, I would probably recommend checking out the Nike version because the Nike version of the SE is also available on Apple's website. The pros, the benefits of going with the Nike version, not only does it cost the exact same as the standard sport Apple Watch, but you have an exclusive Nike band to choose from and also comes with additional Nike watch faces. And then it also comes available in both silver and space gray. So if you're looking to buy in those two color choices, consider and possibly checking out the Nike version because again, it costs the same and you get additional goodies. And before I forget to mention, it also does support fall detection and the ability to call emergency SOS in, if needed. So the SE itself will also watch over you in case of an emergency. Now, would I consider this over a Series 3? A hundred times, yes. It's significantly faster and the new body screen design is definitely worth the SE over the older generation body design from the Series 3. Don't get me wrong, it still is a good display, but Everything just looks more pleasant with the SE and modern as well. Especially when taking consideration that the SE also has a lot more storage than the Series 3. It's another thing you gotta also think about. Other than that, that is basically the review of the SE Apple Watch. Six months later, still is an excellent device. Watch OS 7 works flawlessly on it. I really don't have any complaints or things that I don't like about it. I still think it's a great value Apple Watch. Guys, if you got some good useful information, don't just simply hit that like button, but also get subscribed because I basically cover a lot of tech videos very similar to this. And yes, I'm just a normal consumer. Apple did not pay me to make this video. I'm literally just sharing my experience and being straightforward with you guys. So hit that like button for me, please. And, and consider subscribing. Now, if you're in the fritz between the Series 6 and the SE, I actually compared it to in this video over here, which you can go ahead and watch. And if you'd like to see the dedicated six month review video of the SE that I recently made, you can go ahead and watch it right over there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.